In the film, we talk about how near-death experiences are not something new. So we're filming a bunch of ancient tabletop imagery for this scene, including ancient Hebrew scrolls, ancient Greek, some Egyptian imagery, as well as some of the first research that was done by doctors studying near-death experiences with their patients. The journal of near-death experiences, and then we'll wrap up to the date on the top left. So the tricky thing is this is a pickup day in LA, and we're trying to match what we had done at the last day of the shoot in Mexico. We have hundreds of tabletop shots, and we're bringing in props up that we filmed in Mexico to make it consistent in this LA location. The whole room went black. It just... It was dark. It was, I mean, lights out. I was gone. Hollywood's narrative scene was the first narrative shoot that we had on this entire project. This is Michelangelo, the, the face of God. So the actor who played Paul actually showed up early in 2020 when we filmed his interview. And this scene was him leading up to the moment that he died. And then we reprised the role later after we had cut in place and we were filling in some pieces. Where you do sort of hit on all these other stories. We know what we need. And I think it is cool that we even have the edit to, you know, take a look at. Yeah, we'll start using that stuff probably in the next week or two, honestly. It was great work with Fabian who played Paul. The nice thing about having an edit before we filmed the next segment was we were able to show him a cut of the film to prep him for the scene. This is work at 1,000. I knew that I had died, and it was one of the scariest moments in my entire life. He had to play a part of falling through the void in Paul's near to the experience. So, uh, so we're gonna throw you up the <laughs> <laughs> I wanted handheld because I wanted to be, yeah, chaotic and disorienting. Okay. Cut. Setting him up on that box and throwing the wind at his hair. I mean, he looked, he made it look pretty convincing. 3,000 miles an hour. So this is like, that's what's happening here, right? I remember at that point, I cried out. We did a 3D scan of the actor's body so that we could put him into some VFX shots. So you got to come in, please. I need you. Hey. Look at the old fist bump. Yeah. Yeah. So we did some pickup scenes for Mary Neal's story, and we had to find an actress that looked like Mary when she was younger. Daphne honestly looked just like Mary when, when Mary was young. It was pretty wild to see her play Mary's character as, as a young mother. When I hit the save button, I took my youngest son, who was still living at home, into town to get ice cream so we could celebrate. <laughs> There's a scene in the film where Mary's writing her story down. This takes place just after 1909 with old technology, old computers. Sam Stone commandeered a CRT monitor, put a flat screen in it. Everything was so carefully placed and so detail-oriented. And action. In the next uh, week or so, getting up at 3 or 4 in the morning and writing for a few hours before the morning routine. We actually have some of the last few paragraphs in Mary's book that comes up on the screen and plays through the scene. And so I you know, made my final revisions, and... And then let's have the eyes closed, and it's like... But to your left, with your eyes, yeah. Purely as I know anything. Yeah, That's a cut, and a wrap on today! One of the last narrative scenes that we filmed was Dale's story. Pretty exciting adventure, kind of seeing all the different pieces come together. It's really cool that we're ending the day on Dale's story. We started on in 2017, something really special about it. And we're here and we're filming with the twin engine aircraft that's very similar to what we started with narrative scenes to kind of close out the, the whole adventure of this project. For Dale's recreation. So we're at this airplane hangar, you know, it's a it's a very big set. You know, we're doing blue screen around this massive um, plane inside a hangar and everything. Pretty big crew they were working with there. And Nick played Captain Dale Black as a young 19 year old. Okay, and open doors. It was July 18th, 1969. Dale, he died in a plane crash in 1969 in Burbank. There was an LA Times photographer that went out moments after the crash and actually took photos. Pretty much you line up with the runway, you check a couple gates. We had a pilot with us on set who guided us through some of the realism in, with the actors. Check the two like RPM ample pressure gauge. The very last thing you'd probably be like this. There were two yeah. other pilots with Dale that day. Drew played Chuck and Michael played Gene. 
Pilot on set walked the actors through what are some realistic motions as a as a pilot in the cockpit. These actors are going to be inside the cockpit, really removed from the rest of us. So we had to do some rehearsals beforehand to get familiar with what are they going to be doing in the cockpit leading up to taxiing to take off. All of the interior of the plane was all shot practically. And then the exterior of the plane was recreated digitally, which allowed us to put the camera in places that we legally couldn't do otherwise. Action! Great having our executive producers, John, Mavis, and Tyler on set. We had a light up on a boom to mimic the sun that would move through the cockpit as the plane started to gain altitude, as well as when it lost altitude. Dale was flying a Piper Navajo in 1969, and Larry was so detailed about the plane of getting exactly the tail number of uh, from the accident photos and kind of recreating what that actual plane was. So visually on the outside, it's 100% identical to the plane that actually crashed uh, that day. There's a lot of coordination happening between the plane, the actors, the light, camera. Dossing around, a little chaotic movement. At the end of the day of the shoot, we're just wrapping up. We're filming what would be a sunrise, filming at sunset instead. This is supposed to look like early morning Burbank, California, the start of the day, which would be near the beginning of the entire film. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. And here's the Manitoba crew taking one of their many flights back to Winnipeg. <laughs>